Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose. And in this video, we will look at count vowel strings in ranges problem, which is from lead code number two double five nine. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem, you are given a zero indexed array of string words and a two D array of integers queries. Each query query at i denotes uh, a range li comma ri asks to find the number of strings present in the range of li to ri both inclusive of the words that start and end with a vowel return an array answer of size queries dot length where answer at i is the answer of the ith query note that the vowels are ai -E o u so if you look at this example given in the word section then we have five words from 0 to 4 and if you consider the query 0 comma 2 then it means that from 0 to 2 how many strings are present which starts with the vowel and ends with the vowel so aba is one such string so i will add one value for it now bcb does not start with the vowel ece uh, starts with the vowel so i will be adding one for it it starts with the vowel and ends with the vowel right so the total count in this range is 2 so the answer for this range is 2 now if you calculate for this 1 comma 4 then you can go in the range of 1 to 4 and check out this bcb uh, i mean it does not start with the vowel ece was already fine double a starts with the vowel and ends with the vowel e also starts with the vowel and ends with the vowel you can also have a single character and the starting and ending character is same so if this character is a vowel then it is true as well so the count here is 3 1 plus 1 plus 1 if you look at the range from 1 to 1 uh, then this 1 to 1 range is only bcb which does not follow the constraint so it will be 0 therefore the answer to be returned will be of query size and in this case it will be 230 which is already mentioned right now in this particular case if the number of queries are q and the number of words are n and the length of each word is k then for serving each of the query by just linear iteration we we might have to go for all the words in the words uh, because the range may start from 0 and go till n minus 1 so it might be covering all the words so in that particular case for every query we are going through all the words and for every word we will be looking at only the first and the last character so no need to go for all the in entire word size so this will be order of one so therefore the time complexity will be order of q times of n if you go by the brute force approach now let's look at the constraint in this particular case you have the words as 10 to the power of 5 this will be the number of words and the queries can also be 10 to the power of 5 so if you go with the q1 approach it will be 10 to the power of 10 which is way beyond your 10 to the power of 8 you should always consider solving the problem in a time complexity number of computations in runtime less than 10 to the power of 8 so this is not going to work so let's now look at an idea for solving it using a better solution now the idea in this case is if you have n plus 1 words from 0 to n then if i ask you a query that give me all the vowels in the range of l to r like the count of all the vowels in the range of l to r then the brute force approach is to iterate for all the words in the range of l to r and find out uh, the first character is a vowel and the last character is a vowel then you do plus one otherwise you, you just skip it so this was already order of n for every query but what we can do is if i tell you that the count of number of vowels in the range of 0 to r is x and the count of number of vowels in the range of 0 to l minus 1 is y then you can simply subtract x and y and you will get the count of vowels in the range of l to r well uh, the, the vowels in the range of l to r will be vowels in the range of 0 to r and the vowels in the range of 0 to l minus 1 so it will be x minus y so this concept is applied using the prefix sum so we can just do pre-computation of the prefix sum array so what we will do is given our words array so this is our words array where we have uh, let's say five string it is the same example in this case i will be just going through each of the word one by one and finding out if the first character is uh, a vowel and the last character is also a vowel i will be taking a prefix sum of size n plus one well we could have taken a size n but then if you have to uh, do a range query in the range of let's say zero to r then you have to take the prefix sum array at r and subtract the prefix sum array at 0 minus 1 so this will give you a segmentation fault so if you want to uh, make all the queries run like uh, the range query in the range of l to r should be equals to the prefix sum uh, at r minus 
the prefix sum at l minus 1 if you want to perform a uniform uh, operation where the l value may be 0 or maybe anything so then you have to take one extra size of the prefix sum right and i will be prefilling this with entirely with 0 now i'll be going for each of the words now this is valid so i'll be adding plus 1 i'll be iterating for this one one means the first word which is the 0th word so here the value will be updated to a value 1 which is 0 plus this 1 okay it, it will be 1 now i'll go to the second uh, index in the prefix sum that means word 1 i will check this b is not a vowel so this is not following our constraint so i will simply copy the value uh, which we had seen previously okay now we will be going to this 3 and uh, this means word number 2 now e c e e is a vowel and the last e is also a vowel so i'll be adding plus 1 to the previous value so this will be updated to 2 okay now i will be going to the next word and i'll be going to this 4 a and a both are vowel starting and ending character so plus 1 will be added and this becomes 3 now we will be going uh, to this e so for this case the first and the last character both are vowel and therefore uh, we will be adding plus 1 to this 3 and this will become 4 so now we have uh, updated the prefix sum array so if i tell you what does this 3 mean this 3 means that uh, the number of words right from the beginning till the fourth word that means till index number three from the beginning till index number three how many words are actually starting with the vowel character and ending with the vowel character so those are actually three number of words right now we can easily do any of the query so let's look at query one uh, which is from zero to two count uh, the number of words which are uh, starting with the vowel and ending with the vowel what we have to do is just take the prefix sum at 2 plus 1 and subtract it with the prefix sum at 0. So that prefix sum at 2 plus 1, 3 means it is corresponding to this index 2. So this is giving 2 count. And uh, if you subtract it with prefix sum at 0, it is giving 0 count. So this means that there are exactly 2 words from 0 to 2 which starts with a vowel and ends with a vowel. If you look at another query, let's say query 2. 1 to 1 okay this 1 to 1 means that if i start at 1 and end at 1 then how many words are there which starts with the vowel and ends with the vowel so for this particular case you find prefix sum at 2 minus prefix sum at 1 which is 1 plus 1 minus 1 so prefix sum at 2 is giving you 1 prefix sum at 1 is 1 so 1 minus 1 is giving us 0 so this will be answer 0 if i again do another query like the query number 3 like uh, let's take from 2 to 4 so in this particular case 4 minus uh, this 1 so 4 minus 1 and that will be equals to 3 so there are uh, three words in the range of 2 to 4 which are starting with the vowel and ending with the vowel so all of these three are fo following our constraint so this is uh, how we can solve each of the query and you can pack each of the query into an array format so 203 and you can return this array as our result so the pre-computation of the prefix sum requires you to visit all the words and you can just look at the first and last character in O1 time and therefore the pre-computation can be done in order of n where n is the number of words and after doing that each of the query can be solved in order of one time by using the prefix sum array so the total time complexity will be n plus q and the space complexity will be n due to the prefix sum array. I hope you have understood this. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem i have written a utility function is vowel so whenever a character is given then i will be returning true if the character c is a vowel otherwise it will return false now going to the driver function the vowel string i will be getting the words and the queries i will be counting the number of words and storing in n and then i will be making a prefix sum array of n plus one size predefined with value zero now I will be computing the prefix sum value. So I'll go to each of the word one by one and I'll find the start and the end character of the given word. And if the start is a vowel and end is a vowel, then I will be adding prefix sum 
at i plus 1 equals 1 plus prefix sum at i that means this is a valid uh, word that follows our constraint otherwise if it does not follow our constraint i will just copy the previous value once the prefix sum computation is done after that uh, we need to compute each of the query so simply go to the query and uh, calculate the count which is the range query from l to r and once we have got the count of number of strings in the range of l to r which follows our constraint then we can just push it into the resultant array and finally return the result so this is the entire solution and i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you